It was it was basically just solar flare, and then um, <laughs> you gain life to stay alive. Yeah, yeah. It was like game two. He beat me game one because I had no clue what was going on, and I was like, okay, you playing solar flare, putting all this stuff. Game two, turn two, he plays this car or card fog bank. His yep. one of that's in his deck, and I took out vapor snags. Yeah, because they're worthless against Sun Titans and stuff, and images. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. So he plays that Fog Bank turn two, and then I have a Delver out there that does nothing now. Like, I just could not get past that one stupid Fog Bank, and then eventually he was, like, <laughs> milling himself, doing all this stuff, and he's like, Sun Titan, get back four images, I have five Sun Titans, go. And I was like, ah, this is stupid, I don't like you at all. He was just, he was overly happy about it. That he was doing it. I think that's what made me mad. But, yeah. I mean, whatever. I think he was from Florida, too. Bunch of douchers down there. Gator fans. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. the first thing wrong with Yeah. <laughs> but it was, it was definitely a lot of fun. Uh, me and Alex and Trent ran around. Trent Hodges just goofing off the whole time. But there were a bunch yeah. of Tap and Sack fans there. Was so it, that's cool. Was it at uh, CM's? No, it was at the convention center. They went all oh, out. Uh, makes more sense. Yeah. I was going to ask where the set up at. Yeah. <laughs> There's 200 people in the food court. Yeah, yeah the, food there was court. no no way they'd be able to do it there. But it was <laughs> awesome. Um, i trying to think what else I played against. Red, green, aggro. What's another big deck? Uh, any of the pod variants? Oh, yeah, I played nine pod. That was pretty easy. Uh, I'm, I did Jedi Mind Trick. I think I scumbagged him twice. <laughs> but right, I, I didn't, I, it didn't seem like one. But I, kept, I had a one lander. And it was game three, and he was on the play, and he was like, man, this hand is terrible. And I was like, yeah, man, I only have one land over here, but I'm a man. I'm not some little pussy. And <laughs> he was like, well, I have a one lander too, so if I throw this away, are you saying I'm a pussy? And I was like, I might be. And he was like, fine, all right. He goes, forest, bird. <laughs> I'm like, okay, gut shot. <laughs> and I'm like, island, delver. And then he doesn't draw any more lands, and he loses. Like in four turns, and I felt kind of bad. That's not a scumbag. The guy's just that no, yeah, dude. yeah, I know, but he was kind of upset. You don't keep a hand because someone calls you a pussy. You throw no, you it away do. with a bad. You hand. do new players. If someone calls you a pussy, you keep that hand. All right, that's what I do. If that worked on everybody. I just call people yeah. out. <laughs> that's what I do. Yeah, keep that no lander. Yeah, but, uh, you're a man, but you <laughs> no. You're to be man. fair, I kept one handers all night. Like I just didn't care. Me and Trent went in there expecting to lose O two, and so we could draft. So we were there just having a good time. And then we kept winning, and that was frustrating because we wanted to go draft. And we <laughs> never got to draft. But I fucking hate winning. Yeah, well, no. Yeah, once I got toward the money <laughs> stuff, then I was like, yeah, okay, this is awesome now. But every time I was just like, yeah, if I have a one-lander, what is round one? Yeah, I'm going to play this. I don't even care. I'm ready to draft. And then it ended up being like the god hand somehow. But it was pretty awesome. <laughs> That's yeah. Oh, the other guy, he... uh. He probed me. It was the Delver mirror. And he probed me. And I showed him my hand. We're sitting there talking, yada, 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 yada. Even though we're playing the same thing. And he's like just laughing, you know, joking around. And then he uh, plays Island. And he's like, okay, go. And I'm like, okay, probe you. And he shows me his hand. And he's like, yeah, I have a blah, 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 blah. And then he's like, and a ponder. And he was like, damn it, dude. You sat there and talked to me the whole time and made me forget to play this ponder. And I was like... Uh, yeah, I guess, man. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. You know, it wasn't intentional. He's like, no, it's okay. Inside your head, you're yeah. like... Yeah. yeah, I'm like, you're an idiot <laughs> from Florida. But he was like, he's like, no, it's okay. It's, that's a pretty good mind trick, I guess. That's fine. I see how this is going to be. He's like, we can't be friends now. We got to play for reals. And I was like, okay. So I put my hands in my lap, and he's like, hands above the table. And I was like, what? What'd you say? And he goes, judge, hands above the table. And I was like, man, I got nothing down here but four Delvers. I was like, what? <laughs> I'm like, dude, I'm just joking. All right, it's no big deal. Like, they had a tarp over the table, and so I couldn't put my knees under yeah. it. So I had to, like, hunch over. It was just terrible, uncomfortable. But that guy was an asshole. But he beat me, so I guess he's good. So don't be six foot five. And you hey, five. man, I know. And he, or was, it really he that was a short, fat guy. No, it, I just couldn't put my knees under it because that tarp was there. So no. he was really short and fat and had like a rat tail and a wife beater so and like black teeth. Gosh, he was just in a wife beater. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. I was laughing. Get roast. But he was just like getting kind of 
hostile. Can't wait to get home to my hunger, man. Yeah. But no, it was a blast. I wish more people could have came down. I I think I saw eight Tap and Sack fans and six new people who are going to check out the show. So if you guys are listening, Midway shout out to you guys. You know who you are. I don't remember your names. They signed the play mat, though. That was pretty sweet. You signed All the people that I'm like... I went around like six around, and I was like, sign the play mat. All the listeners, and then all the new people, so... Except for Matt Frazier. I need to get him to sign it. Who is probably the coolest dude to play against, by the way. Yeah. Really? Hopefully he'll be on the show next week. But, uh... We're shadowing. Oh. But we played... Oh. I've only played him twice, and it's always a really good game. And uh, but he always gets land screwed on game three, every time, like every, every time. time. Yeah, it's awesome, because I'm like turn three geist, and I probe him, and he shows me four vapor snags and like two geist, and he's stuck on two land the whole game. Oh, so man. he sits there and vapor snags my angel forever, <laughs> and we're like pinging each other down, and then I get him to four life, and I'm not trying to brag about this, Matt Frazier, if you listen to this, I'm not, but uh, he probes me. With the blue, and I show him my hand, and it's three gut shots and two vapor snags, and he's at four <laughs> life and has no creatures on the board. So, and then he he tapped out for that. So I gut shot him three times, and then just wait for him to play something, and <laughs> or draw something. Yeah, yeah, yeah or anything. And I just like show it to him, and he's just like, "Good God, are you kidding me?" And I write it all down, and I'm like, "Yeah." He writes down, "I'm yeah. dead." <laughs> nah, but he kept playing. And he almost would have survived it. He did some crazy stuff with the rest, though. And it was... But I just had the extra vapor snag. But then he took me outside and, like, told me all this next-level shit. And, like, blew my mind. So, hopefully he's on the show next time. Took you outside. Yeah. I was like, boy, why don't you, he's like, why don't you come outside? He me over quick? and he taught me a <laughs> lesson. <laughs> <laughs> no. But definitely a good time overall, I'd say. And uh, I wish more Tap and Sack fans would have done better. I know everybody kind of scrubbed out, but... Yeah, but, fair yeah. enough. Well, uh, it's been two or three weeks since we've uh, cast. Do you have any good FM stories or uh, anything crazy like that? I don't know if you've been playing at Packards or any local stores. Um, no, I played last FM with the deck I ran at the tournament to practice. Yeah. I don't yeah. have any crazy stories. Nothing really. It's I mean, because everybody down there plays like fun decks. So I was just like, yeah, yeah. stomp. Turn three guys. Turn four sword. Oh, wait. Well, that's all you got to do. Any Delver players, that's yeah. all you have to do. Every time you have a three drop, just slam it immediately. Don't worry about anything else. Make them deal with it. That was the, the only two times I lost is because I was afraid of mana leak or something. Yeah. And that made me lose the game. Pro tip for the day. Done. Mind trick yourself. Yeah. I definitely did. That sucked. And eat before you go because I didn't and I was <laughs> starving all night or all day. That's always a good tip. Or bring food. On the Memphis, and we actually got a girl to bring me some food. Yeah. I was like, yes. Because <laughs> she, like, drove home. She, I drove her down when we went down to Memphis because she was going to visit family. She's like, I'll come and hang out uh, with you or whatever. I was like, all right, cool. So uh, at the end of my rounds, there's a couple that I got done early. And I was like, will you bring me food? <laughs> She's like, I guess. And I was like, I'm dead serious. Like, Please bring me food. There's no, they had meals down there, but it was like twelve dollars for like this to go box full of shit. Oh, that sucks. Oh, like we see, there's some of those like bloated nachos, and it was like nine dollars. And I was like, there's no way I'm paying this. Yeah, bring anything <laughs> else. You're feeding the nerd. Like you're making fat people fat. Yeah. This is not a great. Like they should like have discount salads at Magic. Yeah, because that place would thrive. <laughs> get your discount it, salads yeah. here. No, it comes when you sign up. You get a salad. <laughs> oh man, they gave away like a free month <laughs> no, premium. You get you get a salad, stick a deodorant, and oh my god, yeah, they needed that there. <laughs> it started getting rank in there. Like yeah. uh, like when you win, you move up to the higher tier. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it. it was just so nasty. Little, little, you know, there's little bags you get at the dentist where you leave this like goodie cool bags. Yeah, goodie bags. Make goodie bags. For, for they don't have to do that. 
when you go up there to register, they, they don't have to do that. When you go up there to register, they just spray you with Axe or something. I'm like, next, $30, <laughs> spray you. Next? Yeah. <laughs> next? You like, you only have this tent? <laughs> you hear, and then I go, oh, fuck, it smells good. And then he like walks out and the next one goes in. Yeah, be, yeah just a tent and you just walk <laughs> through it and you get sprayed. Get it off. <laughs> yeah. It is definitely gross, but it ended up being worth it, I guess. Got 16th. Top 16th. Uh, suck it. Suck it, all of you. Yeah. Jake Hendrick. Way better, way better than seven. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it doubles from 17 to 16, I figured out. The dude behind me was pissed. They don't ever have top 17. They're always in the top 16. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, well, about two weeks ago, at uh, Roll the Dice, my first tournament back in Murfreesboro, we had a mono FNM. So um, it wasn't required, but it was suggested if you wanted to you know, come and have fun to bring a mono color deck. Um, they didn't want Phyrexian of any other color or whatever. Um, but they wanted to kind of just have fun, and it was just a random thing that they mentioned at a, a previous F and M, and they just kind of made a Facebook thing about it. It was just for fun, whatever. If you wanted to bring a top tier deck, play zombies, fine. It, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Like, no one's you're really gonna get mad. It's just you know, a fun event because most everybody there is playing off credit anyway, mm. um, for the most part. Um, but I, I took mono green, and I had two dismembers in, and I was like, fuck y'all, I need these dismembers. Green does not have good removal. <laughs> so I kept those in, and uh, my friend Heidi was playing uh, White Weenie, and then I had some friends playing mono black infect, and saw another like mono green deck, and I saw a mono blue delver deck. And, um, anyway, there's this guy named Fred. And uh, he, he, I think he comes almost every week. He's uh, very, I don't know how old he is, 60s. I don't, I, don't want to, I don't want to put a number on it, but he's an older older gentleman. And uh, he loves to come in there and, and talk and tell stories. And, I don't know, he, he's kind of one of those people that's in the point of their life where they just love being the storyteller. No, that's cool. Um, <laughs> yeah. But he comes in and he, he brings like this. He always brings these just crazy decks. He just loves brewing. Cheap creatures, cheap spell decks that just kind of play little dudes and then kind of swarm it all at one time. That's what he builds every time, no matter what colors. <laughs> if, he, if he plays red, he always plays fireball. Nice, yeah. He plays blue, he always plays a bounce effect. Like, <laughs> he has staples in his own decks. Like, if you see him play certain colors, you know most of his deck. But, um, I got another story about him too the next week, which is really funny. But uh, anyway, he brought this red deck. It was mostly the commons and uncommons. And so he gets matched up against Heidi round one. And she's like champion, townsfolk, um, pure steel paladin, connect with champion, swing out, um, turn four, blade hold. <laughs> like, she has the fucking nuts. And he was like, oh, I thought this, I thought this was. Um, Mo- like casual week with monocolored decks. She's like, mine is a monocolored deck. He was like, that's bullshit. That's like straight off the internet. <laughs> she was like, okay. She's kind of irritated because you know she's she's playing mono week, and you know, he's he's like mad at her. Oh, yeah. So that's like, that's like game one. And he just makes these snarky ass comments. The rest of. Uh, game one and end up all the way through game two just bitch and comments like she's about to cry like he's just telling her how bad her deck is and like this is stupid and you just copied off the internet you have no creativity like you're bad all this stuff like just straight to her face and she's if you look at the game state she's beating the living shit out of him but if you look at the like the commentary between them you'd think he was kicking her ass because he's talking so much shit about her deck <laughs> So she too owes him in like no time, and he's like about to rage leave and drop. He's like, "Fine, I'll just play it out. You know, I paid five bucks. I wasted five bucks. I guess I'll just keep playing." So guess who he gets matched up in round two? Yeah. Me. <laughs> <laughs> so I go turn one birds, turn two Dungrove, turn three search for Dungrove, 
um, turn four, Wolf, you're so hard. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. And he was like, 